Hi guys, this is a video all about building up that confidence to go out in your new boat that you've recently purchased and so that you can enjoy the wonderful world of boating. Here we go. All of a sudden, there are no boats. Okay guys, I want to teach you a little bit about the sea. Look at those rocks there, hey? Welcome to all my new subscribers. Good to have you on board guys, let's rock. Okay guys, right, well the first and foremost thing is just to sit on the boat, just for 10 minutes, okay? And just to see how it feels, just sitting in your new boat. Okay, now the first thing to do is obviously turn the engine on and I never leave the harbour um, unless that engine has been running for 10 minutes. Okay, it gives the engine time to warm up, it gives your ears a chance to hear your engine for the first time or second time. Okay, getting used to how it sounds. Okay, and you can hear the engine and make sure that she's sounding happy. All right, my engine sounds happy. Now there is one more point to look out for. Never leave the harbour until you've checked this, guys. And what you've got to check is that there's a constant flow of discharged water coming out of your engine. Is if there's no jet coming out, which you'll see in a minute, okay, then you'll have big problems with the engine. All right? So just make sure that that water is flowing through your engine and being discharged. Let me show you. Okay guys, so if you can see a jet of water coming out, then that's a good sign. Everything's working great with the engine. So that's one of the main things to do before you leave the harbour. Okay, awesome. Hey guys, and don't forget to stay till the end, because at the end of this video, I'm going to give you three of my top tips to help your boat in. Rock and roll. Okay, right, we're going to set off now. We're just uh, very loosely tied to the harbour wall now, so we're just in our mooring, okay? And this is how I dealt with that nervous moment of the first time you head out on your new boat. And I know how you feel, guys. I know it's a little bit nail-biting, but believe me, there's nothing to it. It's just a matter of building some confidence and getting to know your boat and how it feels. So uh, this is how I did it, and hopefully it's helped to you. Thanks for watching. Here we go. Okay, guys, I want you to take note now. I want you to take note of what you can see right now, i.e. lots of different boats. Okay, just take a look at the surroundings. Lots of boats. Okay, this will be very similar to what you were looking at now in your own boat. Okay, so take a good look because things are about to change, guys. And believe me, it's quite a surprise. Okay guys, I'm just coming out of the slip, nice and slowly. Make note of what's around here, lots of boats. Okay, Linda's going to bring the fenders in now. That's number one. That's it. Beautiful. I've actually got some uh, fenders on the side guys as you can see but they uh, they're actually out of the water anyway what I did guys I just got used to just driving the boat very slowly around the harbour okay it's nice and slowly around the harbour I want you to take a really good note guys of your surroundings because this is the scene that your eyes are used to all right so every time you've ever popped down to the harbor for a walk before you bought your boat and now you've bought your boat you, you're joining the ranks and this is the view that you've got or the view I've got it'll be very similar in, in your uh, harbor just have a nice little potter around in the harbor getting used to your surroundings it also gives you an opportunity to get used to how your boat handles with regard to a bit of steering 
and the trick is to take things very nice and slowly there's another guy coming out now okay so that's why it's important just to look around you nice and slowly let him have plenty of room and away we go so just make a note of just how the boat feels guys it will rock from side to side just feel how your boat is also listen to how the engine's sounding okay just gotta watch that boy down there not to get tangled up in that you made a note of your surrounding guys okay so now we're just going to edge out nice and slowly out of the harbour and the first surprise is about to come okay we're heading out to open water guys and welcome to the world of boating and how beautiful it is too now the first surprise is this all of a sudden you've got a whole new landscape that you've not been used to that's totally alien to you remember all those lovely boats that you were sat next to and you saw a minute ago that was your last memory of the harbour now all of a sudden there are no boats in view at all this is a side of the harbour you've never seen so it's totally alien to you okay and this was the first surprise for me and I actually did lose my bearings even though I'd only been out for 10 minutes because all of a sudden everything looks totally different you've never seen this landscape before from the sea so that's one of the main things that I found I needed to learn so what I did was I found myself a landmark and that landmark guys is that church over there so that's what I used as a landmark to get my bearings because I knew that a quarter of a mile away from that church is the harbour even though I can't see any boats so there you go that's one thing to look out for chaps Hey guys, find yourself three landmarks or positions around your area, each one further away, and then return to port each time. Okay guys, so to give you an idea, what really helped me guys, is I made a landmark of that church there. Okay, so once I've reached the church, I came all the way back, and that gave me a lot of practice of keep coming in and out of the harbour mouth. Okay, getting me used to that okay and then i went back out again and i went over to those where the houses end over there and then i came all the way back again all the way back okay and then my third goal was to go to that peninsula over there where you see the land end there okay that was my third goal and then obviously return all the way back to the harbour and get used to coming in and out of the harbour mouth. It was a great deal of help, but my biggest goal, guys, was to go over there. That was my goal. That's actually three mile away, and then come back. And it was just awesome. Okay, guys, I want to teach you a little bit about the sea. All right, just a little bit, it'll be of help to you, because I didn't understand it at first. But I learned very quickly that you do really need to know these things. So I'm sorry for the wind, but we're facing into the wind for a reason. This, as you see the waves coming towards you, is a head sea. Okay. Now, if you have a tilt button like this, where you can tilt your engine up, then you can tilt it slightly just to bring the bow above what we call the bow wave 
So this is a head C. But you only want to bring it just a little slight bit. It's just so you're not crashing into each wave. All right, makes for a very smooth ride. So that's number one, head C. The next one is a side on C, where we turn the boat sideways. Okay, and then you'll feel the boat rock from side to side, like it is now. Okay, that's the side on. Okay, the next C, the third C, is a following C. And a following C, and hopefully the wind, now the wind's behind us, you'll be able to hear me a lot clearer. So, this is now is a following C, okay? Where the waves are coming from behind you, pushing you forward, okay? You can see the waves. This is called a following C. So, head C, side on C, following C. And the fourth one is a confused C, but that's for another video because we haven't got any confused Cs around here. Also guys, check out the description below because down there, there are links to the top 10 videos of this channel. Check it out guys, you'll just love them. Rock and roll. Okay, now the next thing guys is steering. Okay, I want you to make a note and get used to steering your boat because it's a lot different to driving a vehicle, a car. Okay, I'm going to give you some demonstrations now. Like a car, you've got a steering wheel. Okay, now in a car, when you turn that steering wheel, the turn is immediate. If you're going around a corner or something like that. Now with a boat, obviously you've got the engine on the back. So, what's important is to understand that there's going to be a slight delay of approximately three seconds before the turn takes effect. Let me give you a demonstration. So there's your steering wheel. I'm going to give it two turns to port. One, two. You see that the boat is now turning. Now I'm going to turn it two turns to the starboard. One, two. And you notice there's a slight delay before it actually takes effect. Okay, I'll do that another time for you. Spare me for a minute. There's your side arm, you see. <laughs> okay. So, here we are, we're just heading straight. The engine's straightened up. And now I'm gonna do two turns to port. One, two. Okay, and there she goes. Now I'm gonna turn two to starboard. One, two. Now look how long it takes to take effect. Almost five seconds. I'm gonna turn two to starboard. One, two. There you go, that's to starboard. Now I'm gonna do two to port. One, two. So you can see there's quite a delay there before the turn takes effect. But just bear that in mind, guys, and just practice over and over and over again to how your boat behaves with steering. Just have a practice in the harbour. Now, guys, I did promise you a top tip, didn't I? Yep, that top tip, guys, is coming to you right now, straight after this. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to place a like. Rock and roll. Hey, thanks for staying till the end, guys. And here's my three top tips to help your boat in. Whenever I come back from a trip, I aim for the church, so that I've always got this run in front of me. There's three main benefits of this. Number one benefit is I can judge the waves as I'm approaching the harbour mouth, which is right just there, okay? Number two benefit, I can see straight through the harbour mouth to see if there are any vessels coming out of the harbour. So as you can see my approach, 
I'm taking it nice and steady, approximately about three knots. Okay. And I can see straight through that harbour mouth, right through it. Number three benefit is also the fact that unfortunately around that part of the harbour mouth there's a lot of children congregate. The most I've ever counted was 19 kids jumping off the rocks into the harbour mouth with boats approaching all day long. So it enables me to sound my horn or ring my bell and I've always found the bell to be more effective than the horn. Kids, when they're swimming or snorkeling, seem to hear the high-pitched frequency far better than they do the horn. And of course, the horn could also just be related to a local car pulling up or something, or pipping his hooter. Never cut the corner, guys. Never cut that corner. Wherever you are in the world, and if you're in America, which is uh, my biggest viewing audience so thanks guys to all you beautiful American people and boaters that have been enjoying my videos for the last six years okay never cut the corner because you just never know what's happening around that side okay guys the next tip is to get yourself a depth finder because it enable you to judge how shallow the boat can go before you drop anchor and I said drop anchor not throw anchor always drop your anchor in slowly and not throw it okay but as you can see you can see the rocks there now you see if I hadn't got a depth finder I wouldn't be able to see those rocks my top tip guys is get yourself a depth find. You don't have to spend a lot of money. This is one of the more expensive ones, but the first one I had was about 90 pounds or a hundred dollars, that's all. And believe me, it's worth its weight in gold. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that little confidence booster. It certainly helped me doing bit by bit, taking my time, and it really was a big help. So I hope it's been of help to you guys. Don't forget to place a like. And why not subscribe? It'd be great to have you on board. Lots more videos like this on the way. And also, guys, check out the description below where that's where you'll find links to the top 10 videos of this channel. All right? So thanks for watching Boating for Beginners. See you in the next video, guys. Rock and roll.